गुड मॉर्निंग थैंक यू वायरॉक एंड आशीष आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मल्टी फ्रैगमेंट्री प्रॉक्सिमल फीमर्स विच इज राइट टाइम टू गेट यू नो नाउ डेज वंस यू वंस यू गेट दीज काइंड ऑफ फ्रैक्चर्स इट इज बेसिकली द वॉट द हाई एनर्जी ट्रामा वेन यू वॉन्ट टू फिक्स दिस यू हैव टू गेट मेनी थिंग्स यू शूड नो वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली यू आर गोइंग टू ऑपरेट बिकॉज इट्स अ मल्टीपल कॉलम्स आर इंजर्ड so we have tendency to fix only a plate or a nail and in in intramedullary nail or a plate so that you don't get onto a, all the column fixation so that is the reason it gets lot of failures and non unions in especially in multifragmented fragments so key factors are the reduction in valgus maintain the reduction and fragments with the stability now the concept of different stabilities have come up with the absolute relative or absolutive stability for fresh multifragmented fractures so what are the implants we will go to the various implants aspects but basically the in proximal femur fractures basically the nail works very well in measuring the fragments if you take care of all the fragments so this is a case which uh, 29 years old with the multifragmentary get all the columns you should know what are the columns it has broken so that you can reconstruct all the columns you need to have all these equipments to help you out the reduction then go on doing the step wise reductions that is very important to get into a good valgus position get the fragments minimally invasive some people are doing end circulars are damaging the soft tissue it is not it is just a minimally invasive as much as you can so that you can reduce all the fractures then you can convert into a valgus reduction of neck as well as the shaft then you sometimes you require a, a clamp assisted reduction to get into all these fragments which are also again a minimally invasive then you take a entry point do not hesitate to take earlier entry point and then start again redo it and so that you wait for the reduction and then you can take a entry point with properly piriform is fossa so that you will get exact entry point and then you can plan your entry and then you can plan your reaming and then you can pass a nail and once everything is stabilized you can just twist those taking the pulse oximeter on the foot so that you don't compress the vas vessel with the medial side and then you get a excellent reduction in this a multi fragmented fragment and then you get a excellent union and then you find a good functional outcome another patient with 23 years old again multi fragmentary uh, motorcycle accident again see the ct scan will give you the all global uh, area so that you can know what is exactly you are going to do it same position again you have to plan all your fragments fixation then reduce these fragments with the tension band and then you take the entry point and then go on doing this and this is a right way to do it at the right time so that you will get excellent function and excellent stability of the uh, get the function again one patient so again the ct scan will tell you and then you will get a good functional outcome this is now coming to the nail now the plate also sometimes we used to do it in a pass that plating this patient comes with a relative which that was of started the mepo of era of mepo so that we started doing this a plate on the mepo style we could just take two small incision slide the plate but nowadays we don't do this because it goes into just union but it goes into a lot of varus and so that though the functional of the patient is fantastic but we don't rely on this or not because the high energy energy trauma and the plate alone will not give you a, a good sufficient in multi fragmentary fixations so when this started we go to for the absolute stability some people are tend to do each and every pit into a lock screw we also done in the past give absolute stability with lock screws and fixation and then this is a big incision and then you go it is united but nowadays we don't do this as to have the exactly uh, relation to the biology we should be choosing the implant at the right time in the right way to do it so multi fragmentary fixation is always uh, uh, to be very carefully done because you don't want to de determine the stability of the fracture as well as the the biology on the soft tissue attachment so in conclusion the multi fragmentary femur fractures needs a proper assessment so people are not in that convinced to do a ct scan in the proximal femur fractures but i would recommend that each and every proximal fragment must be because you are doing a ct scan for the proximal tibia 
you are doing CT scan for the calcaneus, but why not do for the proximal femur? So you need to do it so that you will come to know what is the global injury around the fractures and some fractures you miss the fragments so that you don't and that is the fragment especially the posterior medial column which needs to be stabilized that, that is the cause of failure in a many of the fractures. Then the choose a proper reduction that is very important you have to use a proper reduction tools to get a good position nail is preferred than the plate I am at least in my institute we do that and we also augment with the uh, like a tension band or a small plate which can give you a global stability around that global fracture. So get it right from the start, get the right plan and right treatment, right implant with a nail or plate, mostly nail, right stability which is absolute or a relative, at mostly it is now relative because we are using a nail and the absolute stability which I don't want to confuse at the moment so that which needs to be done. Uh, still little more studies on this and a good physiotherapy is required for the getting a good reduction. Thank you very much.